Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 Beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to use Windows deployment services to perform Windows 11 network installation. We are using the virtual machines created in VMware Workstation. In the first step, we will install the Windows deployment service on this domain controller VM. Remember that DNS and DHCP services have already been installed. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type cmdelete install hyphen a Windows feature WDS and press Enter to install the WDS rule. Let's wait for the installation process to complete. The next step is to configure WDS services. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Windows Deployment Services. Maximize the window, expand servers and click on our server name. We can see the message that Windows Deployment Services is not configured. To configure it, right click on Server and select Configure Server. Ensure that you meet all the requirements. Click Next. Select Active Directory Integrated WDS or if you want it to be a standalone box. We will go with the Integrated with Active Directory option. Click Next. Specify a remote installation folder or use the default given. Let me change the path to e colon slash remote install. Click Next. Because this is both the WDS and DHCP server, Ensure that both checkboxes are selected. This will automatically configure option 60 in DHCP. Click Next. For your PXE initial settings, please select Respond to all client computers, known and unknown. You can always change these settings at later time. Click Next. Wait for the WDS initial configuration to complete. As we can see, we are done configuring our WDS server, but the service couldn't start. Click on Finish. Let's manually start the WDS service. To start WDS service, right click on the server and select All Task and then Start. We get the confirmation message, successfully started Windows deployment services. Click OK. WDS service is now up and running on our domain controller. Let me expand our server name and as we can see, we have all the required folders. Next step is to add Windows 11 boot and install images. We have to mount Windows 11 ISO image to our VM. Ok, I have mounted the ISO image to this VM. Let's right click on install images and select add install image. Type Windows Client OS as the group name and click Next. Click Browse on the Image Files page and navigate to your DVD drive, go to Sources folder and select Install.wim file. Click Open and select Next. This page will give us the available images. If your installation media may have more than one image available, Select whichever ones you want to be able to deploy and then click Next. On Summary page, we can see Windows 11 Enterprise Evaluation image is selected. Click Next. This will now take a while to check the integrity of the image and then add the image to our WDS server. The selected image successfully added. Click on Finish. Once that is finished, we will be able to look inside the Install Images folder and see the image group. In our case, it is Windows Client OS. And now we can see we have a Windows 11 image. Now all we have to do is add the boot.wim file. To do this, right click on boot images and select add boot image. Again click on browse and select boot.wim file. Click on open and select next. Specify meaningful image name and description for this boot image. When ready, click Next. Again, click Next and wait for the process to complete. The image added successfully. Click on Finish. 
So our configuration on WDS server is completed successfully. Now let's start the VM where we want to install Windows 11 using WDS. Let's press enter key for network boot service. We can see the PXE client is loading boot.vim file from our WDS server with the IP address 172.18.72.51. Wait while the installation environment is loading. When we try to install Windows 11 using the old WDS method, it gives you an error that WDS client functionality is partly deprecated. You won't be able to install Windows 11 with only WDS. You have to use Microsoft Deployment Toolkit in order to deploy Windows 11 successfully. I have already created a mini video series on how to deploy Windows 11 using MDT and WDS. Link to those videos are provided in the description area. So normally we are not able to install Windows 11 using only WDS. But that is a simple fix. If you don't want to install and configure MDT and ADK for one or two Windows 11 deployment, you can use this trick. Let's see that. To fix this error, we just need to replace the Windows 11 boot.vim file with Windows 10 boot.vim file. And then start the installation again. Let's see that in action. Let's go back to our domain controller VM. First, we have to mount the Windows 10 ISO image. We have mounted the Windows 10 ISO image to this domain controller. Right click on boot images and select add boot image. Click on browse. Go to D drive which is our DVD drive and then we just have to select boot.wim file. Click open and click next. Specify a meaningful image name and description for this boot image so we can easily identify this image. Remember, this is a Windows 10 boot image. Click Next. Again, click Next and wait for the process to complete. Click on Finish. Now, at this point, we have two boot images. One for Windows 10 and one for Windows 11. If you want, you can disable the Windows 11 boot image from here. But that we are not going to do. Let's go back to our Windows 11 VM. Ok, now I'm going to click on Reboot. The VM will again boot using the Network Boot option. Press Enter key for Network Boot Service. From the Boot Image list, this time select Windows 10 Boot Image and hit Enter key. On Windows Deployment Services, select Installation Language and Keyboard and Input Method. Simply click Next to continue. Enter the credentials of an account authorized to connect to the WDS server. Let me enter administrator at msftwebcast.com and then enter administrator's password and click OK. Select the Windows 11 installation image and click Next. Click Next again. The Windows 11 installation is started successfully. The installation process will take some time to complete. During the installation process, computer will restart several times automatically. After the installation is finished, we will be asked to finish with some generalized settings. So let's wait for the installation process to complete. Let me quickly finish the generalized settings. Finally, we have reached on desktop of newly installed Windows 11 operating system. This means we have successfully deployed a Windows 11 operating system using Windows deployment services. Using this simple fix, we can easily deploy a Windows 11 operating system using Windows deployment services. That's all for this video on how to deploy a Windows 11 operating system using Windows deployment services. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.